Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we will be working on the window, just this window, and we're gonna copy it. Now, I'm going to select the objects that I want to work on. Rule of thumb, I always isolate as much as possible what I am working on. Let's go to shapes, let's go to rectangle and create a new rectangle here. If we look at our window, we have some sort of profile going on. We have the back side, and we also have this side. We can approach this in multiple ways. We can simply either have multiple boxes like this or multiple rectangles. So now I can set the sweep parameter, the pivot alignment to something like this or this. You need to experiment. You can select a bar. I imagine this can be set to something like two, okay? Or 2.5. We can go back to the right view, click on rectangle again, select this part, and we can do another sweep and we can move this on the X axis 0.5 or one. So we have one centimeter here. I can collapse this. What I want to do, select these edges to press Ctrl I to invert my selection, to select the corners. I just want to make some sort of distance between these corners. We can do that by doing chamfer, just like 0.1. Then select everything like so, click on cap, and I want to do this. I want to select all of these. I wanted to connect them to do an inset like this on all of these shapes and do my deselection or just select these two and then press B to bridge these pieces together. You know what? I like it. Select these two faces, press on bridge, select these two faces, press on bridge and repeat. So here, select this one and this one, and this red color is one of the worst. So let's change it and let's press bridge. Yeah, that's good. I will select the rectangle behind it and do the following. So I'll add a swift loop here and I will select this corner, press extrude. I will change the extrusion type to local normal, set this to zero and increase it like so. Four or 4.5, 4.2. I kind of like this detail here. And what I'm going to do next is to create a rectangle. So I select this, isolate, go to the left or right view, create a rectangle. So let's go from here to here. We have the selection of this rectangle. We can convert this to edit poly to turn it into a face. And that face is going to be the glass. So select it and flip. Now we have three objects that we can attach, but before we do that, let's just create these cylinder objects that hold the window to close and open it. So I'm going to simply create a cylinder here. Cylinder, move it. There you go. One here. We can raise it. So let's say six, eight, set the radius to 0.7. Select this part, put it somewhere here or here. We can make a duplicate in a moment. I'm going to convert this to edit poly and I will select these here, click on chamfer, do the chamfer like this, okay? And I will click control and click on this polygon and then deselect the parts I don't want. Or you can simply select this and this, then hold control. It will select what is around it. So hold control and click and that will help you with your selection. Now we can click on extrude. Extrude will go crazy because we need to change the type of extrusion. So local normals is what we want. And we want it in the negative volume as a value. I'm just looking here, quickly eyeballing this. So minus 0.1. This may be too much. So we can do this and this. And set the ID of these two to two. And press Ctrl I to select everything and set the ID to one because this is a small object maybe we can get away with reducing the number of edges so select one of the edges we have dot ring here press alt l to do loop selection and control backspace to delete the faces that we don't want and this is an end gun i don't like it so let's fix it with the rapid q cap we can't fix it with the rapid q cap because we have nine edges so we need to add another like this and now it can be fixed because we need 10. The same here. Delete this. Rapid q -cal. This is very important. If you want for this to have two material IDs in Unreal Engine, you want to create multi-sub-object material. 
So I'm gonna type multi sub object, click and drag, set this to two. Let's get perhaps just a simple standard surface. Put this one here, get another standard surface, put this one here. We can call this, for example, rubber. And this can be chrome metal, something, or just chrome. It's up to you. Let's make the color of this slightly bluish and make it slightly dark. Select this rubber, make it like really dark. We assign this here, it's gonna look nice. So we can select this, go to our left or right view, press V to switch to open this menu and you can go front, back, top, blah, 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 all of that. I like to share shortcuts. Now, these three objects here, the window frames and the glass and all, let's attach all of them together. Now they are one mesh. This mesh here is the glass. So I'm going to set the ID of this to three. And this here, the metal parts are one, okay? I press M and I will make a third ID. And I'm gonna call this multi sub object for now. And I'll bring another standard material. And this will be the glass, so we can set it to bluish color, something. We can also reduce the opacity if it's somewhere here. Can I search for opacity like we do in Unreal? I don't think we can, but it's okay. Assign this here and assign this here. There you go, looking good. Now, I just want to make sure that everything is in the same layer where I want it. And anyway, none of them are. So we have windows. We can add these to window. Let's select this window, this window. And it's time to replace. So I'm gonna make an instance for now. So if we do a change, it would change everywhere. And I'm gonna select this, delete it, and we're good. I like this. Maybe these here should be moved to this corner. I don't want for this to hit my face if I am studying. So it would close open to this side. Here it looks fine, it looks fine. We can do the same here. These windows here are slightly bigger. Let's get to it. I'm gonna select all of this deselect all of this press shift and move this instance select this 90 degree you can group it also if you want but let's call this window 4 window 5 and so on groups are actually very important set it in the exact middle i might cheat that is because this is a little big you can select these walls and extend or expand it a little bit but Am I going to do that? So we can simply just make the window here smaller. So let's just do it now. I'm gonna ungroup. These can stay the same. They can stay instances. So I'm going to select this and move this here, okay? And then I'm going to select this and make it unique. Click on Edit Poly. Actually, no need because it's already an Edit Poly modifier. We just need to make it unique and move it here. There you go. Later, we need to raise these. I'm gonna do that off camera, so don't waste more time. The duplication of this window and this window is the same process. So let's go here. So this is the first window, rotate it. We want one here, we can keep it here. Let's just not forget to group it so we don't select two objects every single time. And we also want one here. That will be really big, or we could make it a little smaller. So let's set this on this corner and set this on this corner, delete this. We can take the exact same frame and put it on this window or this big door for now. So rotate it 90 degrees and group. Both should be unique, yes. So we can move this all the way here. This will be a sliding door, but I'm going to hide it with the curtain, so I don't want to spend any time working on it. Just gonna do this quickly. We can add the curtain later. Select these because we don't want to open this door and get rid of them. We just want this mesh alone. All right. So I'm going to take care of these off camera. This stuff should be very easy for you. I'm going to stop the lesson here. That's more than enough for this one. I hope you found this one useful. As always, make good art and I will see you in the next one.